This is a roofing hoist platform that I've built and sold about 300 of to attach to Warner ladder and move uh, shingles and materials and um, solar panels and plywood to rooftops. But if you want to use this for an elevator in a house, your ladder will be vertical and you don't need this slant. So I can modify one for you and put the, uh, flip it around so that it will come down within three inches of the floor that it's starting from and it'll be a, a, a surface it'll be flat to put your uh, suitcases and materials on and run them up. In many ways this is much easier to set up than the roofing hoist because you would mount the motor at the top and all you need to do there is to um, uh, use the provided U-bolts and bolt it to the rung of the ladder. However, there's one little thing you have to adjust here is the motor fits perfectly in between the side rails. So these would get in the way right here. So you simply drill a hole right here in the middle, avoid hitting this outside plate, and run this part of the U-bolt through it because the motor will attach snug against this part here. Another thing, when you run your cable, normally the cable would go in between the rungs for a roofing hoist, but because you're putting weight out here when you go up it's going to create friction on the other end here right under this lip here so in order to counter that what you do is run the cable over the top into the hook and when the motor's pulling if it's really heavy the cable will push this down so that it will be less friction on that outside edge let me move this out of the way <laughs> Another thing I suggest is when you put it, put it using this kind of setup, you would take a, a slot your board that goes on top so it can go in this little brace here and flush against the ladder. And you can use any side of your board you want. Your board could even hang over. If you use like a three-quarter sheet of plywood, it could hang over four to six inches because these bolts are here provided to lock the board on the top. And you can make it long as you want to. Some people actually bolt on a 2 by 6 about 6 feet long so that they can run plywood up or solar panels with, with less chance of it tipping over on the side. Um, I would probably, if I was at my house, I would cut out, I would just grind out these little rivets and take this off just to have that out of the way. And of course you would... Um, bolt this part of the ladder to the wall securely. There's another video showing a demo of this in action but this is mostly for the assembly here. So that's the way it's done. This will roll all the way down within three inches of the floor and pull it up. It's better in this situation to keep the motor at the top. Well, first for security. Somebody could come in and it's, it's already down they could just climb the ladder and go through the hole. And also with it all the way up at the top floor, you eliminate the chances of, of a child or a materials or something falling through the hole. And uh, it's ready to go. When you get ready to, to go out shopping or whatever, you'd run it down. You get out of your car and put the materials on there, go upstairs, run it up, take it off. If you have any questions, you can contact me. Thank you.